Hey guys, it's Nikki Momo here, and today's swatchy video is all about Nick's new eyeshadow palette collection that was released, I believe, last week, and it is In Your Element. And out of the six palettes that they released, I only picked one, considering each of them were $40 in Canadian. Um, my original plan was to buy four out of the six, but since they are, again, $40, I decided to buy one, and the one I picked it is the Water Element. When I saw NYX releasing these new palettes, I just couldn't help myself but to be at least buy one. Uh, the four palettes I actually wanted to own was Water, Air, Wind, and the Metal, but after doing research um, in my own home on, like, the shadows they were offering compared to what I have. Um, I pretty much have a lot of the metallic shadows, so I passed down on the uh, metal uh, palette. The air palette was full of pastel colors, and I really, really wanted, but I also passed that aside because I looked at my BH Cosmetics palette, and I pretty much have a lot of their matte colors in that palette. And Wind was also um, one of the palettes I would love to own, but I decided to pass it on that and just get one. And as you can tell with the theme that's been going on with me, it's all about blue. So of course, I got the water palette. I didn't go to the NYX store in my hometown. I actually just bought this online since we get free shipping. Any orders over $30. Um, because I was afraid to even go down to the store and they're like, we don't have the palettes yet. So... I bought this roughly two, three days ago, and it was finally shipped and got here uh, quickly. I thought it was going to take a week or so, uh, but it was from Montreal, and yeah. I actually honestly thought it was going to be bigger than this, but for $40, I thought it would be bigger, but oh well. For once, I'm not wearing any of the shades in this palette, considering I got this in the afternoon while I was out visiting friends and selling some books. So, we're going to go on based of swatching, but I will be testing this out tomorrow. For packaging, it comes in this small, thin cardboard box with the beautiful element uh, title and image at the front with the uh, 12 shades at the back in the description of the palette as it says this gorgeous palette features 12 ocean oceanic tunes of rich blendable shadows ranging from the softest sea foam to the brightest blue the palette container is plastic and it's pretty flat at the front with all the ingredients in the bag and the number of palettes when you open it's got your palettes and the mirror at the back here Downside to this casing, it doesn't go all the way back, it only stops halfway. So I don't like doing my makeup when there's palettes like right in my face and I'm just trying to do this like when it, they're further back when I'm using the mirror. But that's just my preference. Maybe some people actually like it being that way. Out of the 12 shades in this palette, there's only two mattes, and which is a bright blue and like a grayish blue green um, those are the only ones everything else is all shimmer and another downside with this palette there are no titles for each shade which I'm kinda used to because I love theme palettes but I guess we'll have to go with unknown names now we're gonna do some swatching for swatching for, uh, for this palette we're gonna be putting it on my hand here uh, because, like I said, there are only two mattes and like ten other shimmers, so we might I might need to do this to show the effect. So we have one, two, three, and four. Four one is a matte color. So these are the first four shades. And shimmer, and minus this one, this is a matte. I'm really digging this green. It's a really nice green. I do not like the second one at all because it's very chalky. I don't like it. But I'm digging that green. Next we have five, six, seven, and eight. 
So here are the next set. I'm really digging this green. I really like it. The blue is also picking up nicely. I'm okay with these two, but I'm really loving the date. I'm really loving the middle ones. So for the last set, it is 9, 10, 11, and 12. Very curious with number 12 since I just bought this sh shade last week at Sephora. And here they are. I'm digging these two a lot. And the blue is the other matte shade in the palette. But this last set is really good. You need to do at least two swatches, maybe even three, just to get the effect. Because you know how it has the brown and the green. Here's the one I bought last week. It's very similar. So let's do a swatch comparison. So yeah, that's the one I just got, Boxum. And that was just one swatch. This took me like two or three swatches just to get this effect. But it's not as highlighted and pigmented, but it still does its justice. So now I have two shades of that. All in all, I am actually really happy with this palette. I'm glad I got the water one. Uh, I really wanted the metal one, but like I said, I already have most of the shades in my other previous palettes. I'm maybe thinking of getting the wind one because they have a, like, a lot of uh, gray shades and a little bit more blue. Um, I'm really disappointed in one shade from this palette. Now I'm having issues opening this palette. I didn't like this shade right here. It is very, very chalky. And when I was swatching it, it really, really backed up. And the blue one is really nice. I'm just very scared on how pigmented it is. But they're all very pigmented. I had no issues. And for $40, I think it's a little much in my opinion, for the fact like how small this palette is. I mean, it's a nice palette, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm very happy about it. But I wish that uh, the 12th shade was almost as pigmented as this Boxum shade, but whatever. If you guys like this NYX In Your Element water palette review, please give this video a nice like. And if you wanna follow me on my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box. And before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more Swatch It videos, unboxing videos, uh, cosplay shenanigans, and future time-lapse cosplay videos in the future. I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.